Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to show you how to create a new subdomain inside of your cPanel. Subdomains are awesome as they act as an extension of your regular domain, and today I'm happy to show them to you. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube, let us know what you think in the comments below, and subscribe if you want to see more. But if you're ready to go, let's get started. We'll kick things off today inside of our cPanel, but before we get started with actually making a subdomain, let's define what it is. For that, I'm going to head over to HostGator.com. As you can see up here at the top, we've got HostGator.com, and that is our top level domain for this website. Now, if I head over to our portal, which is portal.hostgator.com, this is actually a subdomain. In essence, a subdomain is any text and then dot your domain. These can serve so many different uses. You can have a staging set up for a new version of your website. You can have a store set up as store.yourdomain. There's really no limit to the uses. And the best part about this is so many of our plans come with the option to add as many subdomains as you like. All of our shared plans, the hatchling, baby, and business come with unlimited subdomains. So do our cloud plans and resellers. You can also use this feature on our VPS and dedicated servers and really any cPanel access you'll be able to create a subdomain. Now there's a few prerequisites that you'll need before you actually create one, so let's go into those now. In order to create a subdomain, you'll need to have one of those plans that I mentioned earlier. I've got a shared business plan today and that's the one I'll be using. You'll also need to have a domain already registered and ported to HostGator name servers. Now, if you're wondering what name servers are, they actually point your domain to your website content across the internet using DNS. We have a great video on that topic if you need to get that set up, and I'll be sure to link that in the card above. If the domain is already pointed to HostGator name servers, when we create a new subdomain inside of cPanel, it'll install all the needed DNS records for that subdomain to function properly. Now, if you're not using HostGator name servers, there is a way to do this manually, and I'll include a link to that in the description below, but it's much easier if you have your HostGator name servers already in use. Today, we're going to be using my domain hgadmin.com, so I'll go to that now. What I'd like to do is create store.hgadmin.com, and I'll show you how simple that is. Let's head back to my cPanel. From here, we're going to scroll down to the domain section, and we'll click on subdomains. Now that we're in the subdomain section, you can actually scroll down and see all the ones I already have created. It's really easy to create a new one. First thing I'm going to do is click this drop down and select the domain that I'd like to use as my main domain. So I'm going to select hgadmin.com. Now what I'm going to do is create store. It's automatically going to be .htadmin.com. So I'll click outside of here anywhere to have the document room updated. As you can see there, it's going to be created in my home directory. So this is the folder where all the content can be stored. And simply click create after that. After just a few seconds, you can see that cPanel has automatically created store.htadmin. We've got a green success bar here. So let's go back to the last page. Now, if you have a lot of subdomains like me, you can actually search for them here. So I'm going to search for store, dot, click go. Down here, you can see my store.htadmin has been created. Here's a link to the document route, and you can see that there's no redirection being set. If you ever want to redirect this to a different page, you can click manage redirection here. If you want to quickly be taken to the document route for the site, you can just simply click here. It'll take you right to your file manager. As you can see, we don't have any content yet, but if I needed to create it or add it, I could do that here or through FTP. One of the benefits of being able to create this directly inside a cPanel is that cPanel will actually recognize this as a subdomain. So if you want to install a new application on it, like a CMS like WordPress, Joomla, or Drupal, you can actually do that inside of Softaculous. And of course, since this is a live subdomain, you can actually add content here directly. I'm going to take a few moments and put an index.html up just so we can see it live online. Cool. Now I've got an index.html up. Let's see if we can find this online now. So I'm going to go back to htadmin.com. I'm just going to simply put store.htadmin in front of it. And there it is. This is where my store will be as soon as I create it. So you can see that it only took just a few minutes and it's really easy to set up inside a cPanel. I hope this video was helpful and I hope you have an enjoyable time setting up all the new subdomains that you need. As always, if you like the content that we're making, give it a like on YouTube. Let us know in the comments below what you think and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all. Thank you.